Welcome to today's lesson. I am Siamasaka Kian Dennis. And so today I'm going to take you through a lesson in physics and specifically we are going to look at work. And so we go straight into the lesson. And so work is uh, done actually when a force acts on a body that uh, is moving in a direction of the force. And so uh, we notice that here uh, for work to be done, there should be actually the force. This is very, very, very important because uh, uh, actually the definition of we need to have the force and there should be actually there should be a movement okay through actually a distance so a body should move a certain distance and so actually what we are saying is that work is actually the product it's the product meaning that you have to multiply a force and the distance and this should be in the actually the direction of the force in other words what we are saying is that force is equal to um uh, you are aware force is equal to mass times acceleration but in our case here we are saying actually work is equal to um force multiplied by the displacement, which is the distance moved. Okay, and so at times where there is a force here, you can actually put mass times acceleration. And so this is a very, very, very basic key. Uh, this is a very, very basic key equation that we need to know that actually work is equal to force multiplied by the distance or the displacement. So this is very, very important. And actually work is a scalar quantity because it is defined only by the size or magnitude and not direction. It's very, very important as well to note that actually work is a scalar quantity. So we only define it by actually using um, the magnitude. And so it's important that we know actually the units which are preferred for measuring work. Actually, as we stated earlier, we said work is the product of force and displacement. And the force would be measured in Newtons while the the displacement or distance will be measured in meters. So it is a Newton meter. And this Newton meter unit is actually defined as joules. So work is defined in the units known as joules, which is actually a Newton meter. And as we stated, so the force will be precisely be measured in Newtons the capital N and the distance or the displacement would be measured in meters. So this is very important because uh, uh, we know that actually work is equal to force multiplied by the distance or displacement. This is very important and then the force would be in Newtons and the distance or displacement would be in meters. And so work is measured in joules. And so at times, um, uh, the force might not be in the same line with the, the displacement. Like is the case here, uh, we have actually this object which is being put at an angle theta. So this is the angle theta. 
So uh, as we are aware, um, from triangles, if you have actually a right angle triangle and you have an angle here, and this is your hypotenuse, and so, uh, and this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent to this side, and therefore, if you are to get, um, and then this is the hypotenuse. And so we are saying cos theta, it will be actually the, um, if this is, we say this is now our force, which is the hypotenuse, it will be actually the opposite over, uh, it will be actually the adjacent um, to be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse which is actually the force. And therefore, if you are to get this um, distance, which is uh, actually the adjacent, which is uh, this one here, to mean that we'll say adjacent will be equal to force multiplied by cos theta. So this is where this one is coming from. Okay, so this becomes now um, the adjacent. So it means that we have resolved this force into a component. And so this is now becomes our, actually our force. And therefore this force should be multiplied by the distance or displacement if an object is to move from um, if to, is to move from that point up to that point in a horizontal manner it moves from that point from point A to point B through a distance S. Okay. And so we were saying actually the work would be equal to force. So this is our work multiplied by the distance. In our case, our force there, because it has been resolved into a component, it is actually the force cos theta multiplied by the distance, which is actually S, which is this person. So when you are putting an object at an angle, for it to be in the same line, with the, the distance, it means that you have to resolve it into these components. And we have actually explained how to do that here. And we ensure that this is the right angle triangle, it should be actually 90 degrees there. And so um, when it actually is work done, actually we have given here a picture showing, uh, I would call this one a ball, holding some object here. But um, in the first part, actually there is no movement. He is just holding it. So even if it's very heavy here, there is no work which is being done. But for this one, since he is moving it up, up to that point there, it means that it has moved this distance H, then work is done. But where there is no movement, as we said, we said work is equal to force multiplied by the distance. In our case, the distance here is the height. And the, this object is actually moving um, up there. So it means that uh, it is the force here would be mg 
which is the weight of that object multiplied by the distance. Okay, so in this case, our work would be weight multiplied by the height through which this object has a moved. So our work here goes to weight is measured in newtons, which is actually a force. So we are saying this object has moved up there. But in this case, for this part here, we are not showing that this person was just holding. It. So there is no movement from down there up to there. So there is no work done. So work is only done when there is some displacement or there is some distance moved. Okay. And so now that we have conceptualized the what we have learned, and so now we can apply uh, these concepts to basic equations, which we feel can actually cement our understanding. The first part of the equation goes as follows. A book is moved along a horizontal surface. If the force applied to move, the book is 300 newtons. How much work is done in moving a book through a distance of 100 centimeters. So here we notice that actually 100 centimeters, as we said, it should be changed to meters, which is actually one meter. And so we can now say work is equal to force multiplied by the distance. And we said uh, the force is uh, 300 neutrons multiplied by <coughs> the distance is actually one meter. And therefore, what we get is a 300 newton meter, which is the same as 300 joules. And so we have actually defined precisely how we can find in a basic way, the work done for an object which you move through a distance with the, this particular force. And so the most important is that actually we need, since we said work is equal to force multiplied by distance, we need to make sure that this one is in meters and the work should be in neutrons. And that's why we said work is equal to force multiplied by distance. And we said 100 centimeters is equal to one meter, ensuring that the actual distance in meters so our weight then becomes 300 newtons multiplied by one meter, which gives us 300 newton meters, which is equal to 300 joules. So Newton meters are actually joules. So basically this is uh, what is actually required of us to understand these basic concepts. So we have another question now, which is applying a few concepts, which is a bit actually requiring us to think a bit. 
a boy takes 50 seconds to raise a bag of mass 50 kg up to the top of the building through a vertical height of 20 meters. Calculate the work done by the boy to raise the bag on top of the building. Um, take the gravitational field strength, strength to be actually 9.8 in tons per kg, meaning that uh, this one actually is being raised on F. And so we know our basic equation for calculating work is equal to work is equal to force multiplied by the distance. And we notice that here we are raising an object against the uh, against actually the gravitational field strength. And so this force becomes actual mg. And therefore we can say that work is equal to mg multiplied by the height, which is uh, actually the distance. And now we notice that uh, actually weight, uh, the mass was uh, 50 kg multiplied by the field, uh, gravitational field strength, which is 9.8 kg through a distance of actually 20 meters. And so what we get actually is 9,800 Newton meter. As you know, this kilogram and that one actually will cancel. And so this gives us 900 9,800 actually jaws. So as simple as this. So as simple as this. So here what's important is actually to note that, um, is to note that actually the the, this, the, the work actually can be defined as mg. I think this is very important because this is a basic concept where we know that actually the weight is actually in, okay, it's actually in Newtons. And so we go to the last part of the other question, a girl is pulling a bag with a force of 10 newtons um, at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal. And uh, she moves the bag through a distance of 10 meters that create the weight done through this distance. And uh, so actually, we have this bag here, which is being put with the actually a force of 10 newtons. And here we notice that actually this is at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal. And therefore, we need to find this component here, which we said it is actually F cos 45. And they have told us actually this 
uh, object is moved through a distance of 10 meters. And so we can say work is equal to force multiplied by the distance. And in our case here, we are actually saying our force is F cos 45 degrees. Because this one has been resolved in components multiplied by the distance, which is actually multiplied by the distance, which is moved, which you said actually it is 10 meters. And therefore, we can say work is equal to force multiplied by distance, which we said it is actually um, force cos theta multiplied by the distance, which is the displacement, which is equal to 10 newtons cos 45 degrees multiplied by the distance, which is 10 meters. And actually this one gives us, a, when you multiply it, 70.7 Newton meters, which gives us actually, so this is uh, 45 here. So which gives us actually 70, 0.7 joules, as simple as this. So at times work can be uh, as a result of putting an object at an angle. And this is the way we can actually solve such a problem. And so today I thought we can actually uh, look at work and so uh, those who want uh, actually more intensive actually lessons, you can contact me through WhatsApp through this number, plus two six zero nine seven seven four one nine nine four nine regardless of where you are from actually we can look at all of us we can look at in, um in chemistry as well as the in physics and so you don't need to be actually where i am we can just see uh actually how to show through uh the online platform and so i thank you i hope for we will continue meeting through these lessons. So subscribe to my YouTube as usual. I thank you.